Hello, I'm a huge movie fanatic here. Uh, I'm coming to you to do a little review here. This review is not about a movie, but it's just about the, 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 the great theater venue, which is known as Drive-Ins. Uh, we, we've been known to, uh, oh, I'm, I'm afraid Matt couldn't be here today. I, you know, he, he's working apparently all the time, 24 seven. So uh, I thought I'd just do the drive-in uh, review. This is a review, not a review, but a little video that gives a shout out to the, 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 the venue, the American, I don't know, well, they probably have them in other countries too, but it might've been an American invention, drive-in theaters. Uh, the first time I can actually remember going to a drive-in was actually E.T. Uh, E.T. the extraterrestrial. That's the that's the oldest memory I, I have of going to a drive-in. And of course, I was a little kid, and this was like aliens. Even though it was like friendly alien, it was it was still alien. And I was a you know I was really scared of, of horror movies until I was you know 11. So I was younger than 11 when I seen uh, E.T. So that was the first. I I remember we had a station wagon. I remember just sitting in the back, just crumbled you know all curled up in blankets and. It's like half sleeping. I, it's, it's a really vague memory where I wasn't even conscious the whole time. <laughs> so you might have to ask my parents why that was. But it seems like, well, it's just the memory, the, the fade in and fade out memories of, of just. Uh, so yeah, that's. I can remember uh, there was a huge line because the, the driving was on a on like a, on a highway, and the huge line to go into CET on that night. I mean, it was because there was a frontage road around, you know, that that, that actually drove in to go to the to the, uh, the drive-in. And uh, if there's wind here, I apologize. Uh, it's the way it goes. The microphones on huge movie fanatics are really crappy. We don't have a budget for, uh, for good microphones. So if there's wind, bear with me. You can probably hear me a little bit. So thank you for being patient and bearing with me. But there was a huge line down the down that front of road. I mean, coming out from the drive-in, it just, you know, and it was just like, I remember, I, I think I remember the blanket, this red plaid, blanket that, that I had it in the back, but I mean, it was great. I mean, it wasn't about the movie, like I say, any glimpses of the movie and the alien, you know, E.T. was actually scared me a little bit. I imagine there were more, uh, you know, more movies that played, but I can't remember. Oh, gosh, you know what? I, I want to say Rocky Horror Picture. I remember, I remember scenes, possibly, uh, you know, Rock, what Rocky Horror Picture Show at the drive-in. But you know, I seen uh, I was actually seen aliens at the drive-in. Uh, again, I was I was scared shitless of it, so I never I didn't watch it. I remember being upset when the alien or when the tail came through Bishop, which I thought my dad had because on the way there, my dad had said, "Yeah, this is a sequel to a movie about an alien that you know the thing pops out of his chest," you know. And I was like, "Oh!" So when the tail came out of the chest of Bishop, I thought that was you know when you're a kid, it's hard to tell. I thought that was an alien, so it scared me. I seen we seen Predator at the drive-in. Uh, one of the movies that we saw at least it had to be twice because my memory is so vivid of it is View to a Kill, the James Bond movie we've seen at the drive-in. But when I was a kid, there were like four drive-ins within the immediate area that that you could go to and E.T. was, the, that, that one was the closest and then there was one over here and there's still one here, obviously, thank, thank Santa Claus. And, uh, and then there's still actually one over there, but this is the this, this right here is the closest one. Uh, so, <laughs> so I just wanted to give a shout out to basically drive-ins, uh, the, the idea of drive-ins, and, and, and make a video about drive-ins, how magical they are. This theater actually, the first one, two, three, like the first four rows still actually, and maybe I'll, I'll probably get a shot of them and intercut it in there, shot of, uh, still has the speakers, which is very cool. Obviously the theater, you, you can hear the sound on the, the new FM radio, obviously, but but just, I don't know why, but it's very cool that they actually still have, and I think they did work. The first four, four rows actually do have the speakers hanging off the poles, which is very cool. Drive-ins obviously are, are dying, and it's very, very sad, and, and every year that this one, this, this particular one, Valley High, stays here, I'm, I'm very grateful, uh, because it, it is a great summertime pastime. There's nothing like it. Not, not only just being out under the stars, but you can see a lot of time, in many cases, two or three movies <clears throat> for the price of one, which is very cool. So, so drive-ins are great. Um, I, w I really wish that you know they could make an effort to. I understand that states like you know colder states where there's winter, you know half the time where you don't go. I understand that, but it'd be really cool if there was some kind of effort to keep drive-ins from the, the remaining ones from disappearing because drive-ins are, are, are very cool and a very great place to just you know enjoy movies and also the summer at the same time.
time. So if, if you haven't gone, you know, Matt has never, if, if, if what Matt told me, that Matt, he said he's never been to a drive-in. When he, when he said that, I was like, you're kidding me. So uh, I urged him a couple times this year, this summer, to, uh, to go to this drive-in to see because they played uh, Spider-Man and they're not playing Dark Knight Rises and, you know, they play A movies, you know, so, or I mean, first run movies, you know, so, but, uh, yeah, well, anyway, that's a whole other story, but drive-ins, <laughs> drive-ins are great, and if there's one nearby, I'd, I'd, I'd strongly recommend that you uh, try to go to it. I think there's a website called drive-ins.com, which actually is a very cool website, which, which keeps a tally on which drive-ins are still around, what's they're still functional. I th I'm pretty sure it's drive-ins.com. It might be drive-ins.com, but it just just do an internet search on drive-ins.com and you should be able to find it. So thanks very much for watching. Find you, locate your nearest drive-in near you, and, and go to it before it gets all cold. Thanks for watching.